Hello, my vacuum cleaner and newfound technology chums. How are you tonight? So, the ThinkPad. Today, well, this morning, I messaged a colleague of mine who has an IDE, both 44 and 40 pin, to USB adapter. I know because I borrowed it before. So, I took the hard drive into work with me. Here's the hard drive it is. It's not the original because A, it's from September 2003. B, where is it? It's 20 gigabytes. And this would have had a 6 or a 12, I think the internet said. <coughs> so, I took it into work and copied over the Windows 98. I did the second edition and original edition USB drivers. And I hope that we can pop it back in and find them on the hard drive and install them. Copy a few other bits over as well. Now when I took this out, I just sort of put this loosely back together just to stop things from getting lost. So in theory, there's one. All the, uh, there's two. All the screws are just sat in here. There's three, there's the fourth, there's the fourth. And there's the thing. So, we can begin now in the ThinkPad 240. There seems to be a bit of insulating plastic that sits there. This is the, there's an adapter going on. So in there is a proprietary pin connector. There you go. Which corresponds to this circuit board here. And then at the back of this circuit board here is just a normal 44 pin header. And all we really do is fit the hard drive into this header. That then it sits upside down, so obviously the things match up. It then screws into the case like so with these very short, very annoying screws. I hope this boots up after all this. I've been fiddling with it, I'll be honest. I deleted all the music. Which I actually gave to the colleague who lent me the adapter because he's into music. And he said, oh, there's some all right stuff on there. And he happened to have his music pen drive with him because he listened to it at work. So I copied it all over to it and then deleted it because there wasn't really anything that I either wanted to listen to or didn't already have that I did. So that saved four gigabytes. I do have plans if, in theory, one day to upgrade this hard drive. Oh, there's that little session, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I do have vague plans to update this hard drive, but not yet. We'll wait and see if this works. I do have some parts coming, but I won't spoil the surprise on those yet. Oh, where's the last little screw? Ooh, what's that? Uh oh. Maybe this was a bad idea. That's gone inside somewhere. Ah, let me try and fish it out. There we go. Violence got there. Well, not violence. Some light tapping got there in the end. So, yeah, we, we, we might see more hard drive action at some point, but. Not yet, this works plenty fine enough. So once that's on there, it should, in theory, just sort of drop in, slot in. Oh, there we go. And then these three screws do back up. Lovely. One, two. And the hard drive itself is fine because while it was hooked up to my work laptop with the caddy i downloaded the western digital hard drive tools and did a fast test and a slow test it took three hours and it, it it passed all of them first time so i think the hard drive is actually all right there we go so will it turn on 
been on charge, so hopefully the battery will have some juice. Right, turn the lights off. There we go. Oh, I should shut the cursor, really. There we go. So, we have a post. Should get one beep. Yep. Aha! This is normal. Don't know what any of it means, but our audio DOS device, that must be the sound card. Ha, huh, and look, I themed it up as per my 12 year old, 13 year old self's old Windows 98 computer. So it's got one of the rubbish themes on it. Just because I'm a child at heart. I also de bloatwared it, so in theory, there should be nothing else coming up down there. Done, I stripped everything out. All the AOL rubbish, all of the real player rubbish, definitely all of the Symantec rubbish, and there we go, that has loaded, the hard drive light has stopped. Well, the mouse still seems to be doing stuff, but oh well. I did get, last night, the mouse working. There were some drivers buried deep inside a folder for a mobile phone toolkit that happened to get the mouse working, so we'll just confirm that. Yes, we still have a mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the folder that I put on here earlier. We'll also keep half an eye on the battery because that's 88% now. See, this is the folder I put on there. There are lots of cool stuff. And all we really want first, we'll need that. That's the EXE for the drivers so we're going to take out the mouse this is only so I don't have to thumb around too much and then somewhere I did have a pen drive let's if I turn the lights off if that's going to glare ah excellent I can see so basically we're going to put the pen drive into the machine and see what happens so hopefully If I now run these drivers, oh, we move all, ooh, we move all drives. Okay, we'll do that. Meh. I'm not going to uninstall everything. So that is now installing drivers. I've got the 98 ones just in case. I'm sure this is SE because the build number, but. I didn't want it to not be, and then we'd have to do all this again tomorrow. So we shall reboot. Wow! <coughs> Back to my childhood, this is. So I'll have a quick reboot. Pad. It'd be nice if this did work, because I've got some plans. But it all relies on being able to get something onto it. And there's a, I joined the ThinkPad forum earlier. I am Becco1987 on the ThinkPad forum now and did a little introductory post. And somebody there said that these from the factory had... Obviously, there's the floppy drive connector there. But they also had a PCI CMA, however you say it, to an external caddy that housed the CD drive. So you popped your boot floppy in which it then booted from by default. Then you pointed it at this external hard drive, the external CD drive. That's promising. And then that's how you got, a, got it to load from the CD. I haven't got that luxury. There's one on eBay America for $15, which is about £17, but 50 quid postage. So that's, that, that's not going to happen, I'm afraid. You know what, I'm going to turn the sound off because that's a little bit annoying. I'll push the function key. Can't see the volume icon changing. But there, oh, there you go, that's changed. But he's probably he's installing drivers, so we shall wait and see what happens there. Oh my well, okay. meh, and it worked. Meh. Ooh, should we try it? Eh. 
I want my computer because it's not going to auto run because it's before that. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Come on, come on. Oh. So that hasn't done it. Quick F5. Right. So that hasn't helped at all, really. And I bet if we go to the device manager, which is in the system, it's not saying there's any device is not found. Ah, there it is. Look, disk drive. Ah, so it knows at least that it's a disk drive, which is more than it was doing yesterday. Let's see if it will find. Let's just search normally now. Um, where do I go to find? I don't know where that's installed to now, do you? Hmm. Whoops. Okay, what? Let's go find it. We'll start the installation off. And then we'll see where it pointed it. So it was here, it was 98 SE. Uh, to destination C Windows. So we'll cancel that. We want to point it at C Windows. It should just be there. System 32? System, ah, well, system has an OK. Ah, woo! Promising. Libby little snake. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Easily pleased, I am. Easily pleased. I had to cheat the window 98 colour, though, because the colour for the theme was flipping horrible. Woo! It's found it. That's what it was doing yesterday. So we'll click next. The CD-ROM is on the hard... Uh, ooh, oh, ooh, ah. Uh, oh, but you're there. The CD-ROM is sat on the hard drive. It's in this folder here called C Windows 98. Your... Oh, blimey, I'm going to have to go and take this back to work tomorrow to put... What are the, so that's not... One of these was the CD-ROM because it was installing lots of... That's how I got the themes on it, because the CD-ROM was on it. Fiddlesticks. That's not good. Pre-copy one dot cap. Oh, USB NT map dot sys. Let me write this down just in case. This pen doesn't work. Ah, foiled by a pen. Let's get my actual laptop out. Oh, that screen's weird to look at after looking at this. Right, I'm going to pause and see if USB NTRap.sys is going to be anywhere on here. In fact, it might be in the other Windows 98 one. I shall be back. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, benchmark. 11 minutes. Blimey. <laughs> It'll take a while. Again, I might just show you the results because that's very boring. You say, no, no, I'm not going to sit here and watch this for 10 minutes. I'm going to go and have a drink. So, see you in 11 minutes, 3 seconds. Halfway there. 
I've got myself a cup of coffee. Let's watch it do the video card test. Or whatever it is it's doing. They're pretty colours, aren't they? Is that the colour palette test, probably? May not do very well on that, because I imagine that's what the Pro Tools version is for. Yeah, this is going to go on forever. Pause. Still going with the wavy lines. Don't know what the wavy lines mean. Is that texture, perhaps? Texture rendering? Maybe I should have chosen what it did, didn't do. I'll just hit go. And then it sorts it out for itself. I'll pause again. Two minutes have passed and it's still going. Ha, I've just wiggled the mouse, look. Let's look at the red bit. And I'll pause again. And there we have it. CPU score of 768, memory score of 636, and hard drive score of 97. Whatever that means, it's oh gosh, I'm not having a look at that. I might copy that out if anybody cares. Does that mean anything? Very slow hard drive write speeds. The memory's not bad though, although this is the onboard solder memory, so that's that nearly, that's nearly a gigabit. NA on all the graphics. So there we go. System in fair Intel Celeron at 299 and Neo Magic Magic Graph total for three physical memory zero bytes. Whoops, I must have maxed that out. So there we go. Oh, I wonder if I can overclock it. Anyone know how to overclock one of these bad boys? Yeah. So there we go. Let's do the battery test. We can sort that out. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll continue. Oh god, no, that's just gonna loop it until it dies. No, I can't even bother with that. So there we go. PC Mark 2002 benchmark for 1999 IBM ThinkPad 240. Going to end it there. And we'll leave it at that. And there we go. I had a horrible thought that that wavy line was a screensaver. But it's not because this is the screensaver. So that's good it's not that so there we go thank you very much for watching don't know what the next video will be about but i'm sure i'll find something and i'll see you soon bye bye